time to make Cherry's Jubilee. Have you guys ever made it before? Now, I haven't. I've heard of it a million times. Oh my gosh, that totally worked. Um, but I've, I've never made it. I had to like look it up. Supposedly it was first made for Queen Victoria's coronation in the 1800s. So I had to ask my Buy Nothing group, thank you Buy Nothing Willow Glen, who had a cherry pitter because I just needed it for the day. And ta-da, like you put it in there and then you, and it spits it out. And I had to get some Kirschwasser cherry brandy. So don't mind me, I'm just gonna be pitting cherries for a while. It is noisy, but way better than my regular method, which would be um, biting it in half and getting the pit out. Let's continue. They're all pitted and then I, I sliced them in half. Now the slicing in half part is very, um, it's, it's like an insurance policy because when you slice them, you can tell, does that one have a pit in it or not? Mm -hmm. You don't want any pits. So I'm getting some lemon juice in here. Not a single seed, I love it. And a nice hot pan. A lot of recipes ask you to add sugar to this. I don't wanna add sugar. These cherries are gorgeous and sweet and perfect, just like they are. So, wow, it's like a murder scene. Let's, we're just gonna get these like softened and juicy and delicious. And then we're gonna add our brand. Look at those. Oh my gosh. Now, you can make a slurry if you wanted to. You could you could put some cornstarch in with the lemon at the start or orange and you know mix it all up so you have like a, a thicker sauce. I was not concerned with that, uh, especially because I don't I didn't feel like getting the cornstarch, honestly. And I think this is looking fantastic. So the next thing I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to add a little bit of the zest, so I'm doing lemon zest because I use fresh lemon. And again, you could do orange. Now, I'm supposed to turn off the heat. Now, this is the part that I've never done before. Have you ever like flambéed something? I've never, I've never done that. But our Kirschwasser, Kirschwasser, cherry brandy, I don't even, It's not on the heat, because if I do this while the heat is on, the whole thing could go up in flames. Usually, if you get this at a um, restaurant, they'll do this table side, this part. Okay, so I have that on there. And now I turn on the flame. Can you see it? Gosh, I hope you can see it. That was really cool. We want all of that alcohol to burn right off. Wow. It really, I thought I was gonna have to like tip it and then the fire was gonna jump in there, but it really like, it did it. Look at what I found. Forager. Oh. Hello, fantastic. Don't mind if I do. So this is um, cashew milk based, delightful. I'm gonna do a nice, generous scoopity scoop. Mm, probably two, because it's cashew based. This is not even gonna hurt me. Oh my gosh. Put that over there. Okay, we've got that. And then we just spoon this. Queen Victoria. Thanks for being coronated back in the day. So we could have 
this, you want to taste it? You get a spoon, just like, admire. Cheers. Cherry's Jubilee. Oh, I love this. So whether it's a holiday celebration or just because you got some cherries at the farm, thank you, Nicole and family for bringing these to us. I think today's a great day for you to make some Cherry's Jubilee. And if you need any Curse washer. Curse washer. I've got a ton, and I have a feeling I'm not going to be drinking all of that. 